this is Water Lily 796 or Sarah and today I wanted to do a video um, um, a shopping haul because I recently bought a lot of new flats um, and I also bought some jewelry off Etsy that I think is pretty so I just wanted to share you guys with that and um, yeah so I'm gonna start off with shoes and probably my favorite new pair of shoes that I purchased are these Minnetonka moccasins and they look like this I've already worn them quite a bit and they have this really pretty stud detail um, so yeah I bought these on Amazon you can also get them on other websites but I think the cheapest um, price was there run about $40 for a pair of moccasins which is a little bit expensive but they sure they're made from real leather and they're also just really nice shoes so I don't mind paying that because I know they're gonna last a little longer because I had a pair of like Target moccasins that I bought for like 10 bucks on sale but they did not last so I decided to just fork out the money for these cool. one thing to keep in mind though is that um, these run like a full size large or maybe like a size and a half I usually wear an eight and a half and I got these in a seven and a half and with socks they fit just right so if you're going to buy a pair of Minnetonkas you have to order a size down but I absolutely love these I think I will probably wear these to death this fall <laughs> And then I also ordered from Shoe Dazzle. Um, this was my first time ordering any shoes off Shoe Dazzle. Um, they were having a really good sale and it was buy one get one free. So I bought one pair of $30 shoes and I got another pair free. So I basically paid $15 per shoe. Yeah, I don't think that promotion is going on anymore. Um, but they have like sales on that website all the time. Um, and it came in these pink boxes um, and I guess I'll talk about the first pair of shoes and these are the Blanche I don't really know um they're just called Blanche and I got them in green and in eight and a half one thing that was kind of nice was that these came with a shoe bag I don't really use shoe bags but I figure I'll use this for something else and I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they are green and they have these studs on them. They're just very pretty. Um, one thing about them is that they're not very comfortable, which I was really kind of disappointed about. I do have all this padding in the sole, if you can see, but it's kind of weird. In a weird spot, I don't know. Um, the worst thing is that the back of the heels are a little stiff. Um, so they kind of rub against me, so I probably need to get some of those little footy socks to wear with these, um, or just wear them with tights. Um, but they're also very stiff, like, they don't bend very much at all, so they're uncomfortable to walk in. So, unfortunately, although these are so cute, and I'll definitely wear them a couple times, um, they're just not a very comfortable shoe, which is just disappointing. Cool. So I wasn't very impressed with the quality of those. Also got, the second pair of shoes I got are these kind of banana boat loafers um, and, um, called Party. I don't know if these are still on the website, but if they are, I will link to them. And something else I was kind of weird about them is that they came with shoe bags, these, but they just came with like one bag for each shoe which I think is funny because if I'm gonna like throw these in the purse to like change from heels at some point I don't understand why they didn't just make one bag so I really know what to do with these but all but these look really cute on even though they look kind of funky and I just have these cute little tassels which are really on trend everything on shoe tassel is really on trend like the studs um, are on trend these um are not like the most amazingly comfortable shoes but they're not uncomfortable they're just they're okay shoes so I'm glad that I got these um I might have returned the other shoes if I could if they weren't um like the these were BOGO so I can't return them but I like these a lot and they're also this beautiful burgundy color The 
the last pair of shoes I wore today, and I got these on Hotlook, Hotlook.com for dollars, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, and that's without shipping though, so they ended up being like $30. I will, I'm not sure if I will really shop on Shoe Dolls anymore since I wasn't terribly impressed by the quality of the shoes. Um, the shoes are really cute though, so I might like try out a pair of heels and see how they go. But I liked Hot Look a lot. I never really shopped around on there, but I thought it was fun. Um, and they just rotate different brands and they have sales on them, so it's kind of cool. They are by Blowfish. This looks like this. Um, and I like Blowfish. I have another pair of shoes by these, by them. The shoes that I got look like this, and they're just really funky. Um, they are like a pewter metallic gray color. Um, and these are really comfortable. I wore them around today. Um, I had a little bit of rubbing with the zipper on just one shoe though. Um, which, and it wasn't really bad, like it wasn't painful. Um, and also you can just kind of like zip it down like a little bit and then it doesn't rub anymore. So hopefully these will just kind of wear in. Um, but I really like them. They have a padded insole, which is like my favorite thing. It's purple. Um, and I just think they're really funky shoes, which is what attracts me to them. They have these two um, straps that you can do, and they also have the zipper on the back, which makes them really easy to get into. Um, I got these in eight and a half, and they fit perfect. So yeah, I really like these. I was really excited about these. Um. So those are all of the shoes that I recently purchased. Um, done. But then I got a couple things off of Etsy, just um, some jewelry. And I went on there originally because I was looking for some more... Um, cartilage piercing studs and sort of cute stuff and I ended up just buying like random jewelry but I think they're cute so something I got um are these cute little button earrings are these cute button earrings um and yeah I got them from a seller called Fickle Sense and I will put her links down in the description but these are just I thought these were a really cute neutral um Earrings. Super cute. Um, and then the next thing I got, and all these have sterling silver backs, so they're a little bit more expensive. I think they're all like $68, are these um, gray pearls. And I think I might buy some white pearls. These are a little bigger than I was expecting, um, but they're still nice. And I just like pearls for every day, and I lost all of my pearl studs, so... These are kind of too big for the tops of my ears, but I still like them. Um, and then the last thing I got that I really like, I have one of the studs in my ear right here. It is this mint green rose. So I got a cartilage chain, which I just thought were these really funky things. And I'll show you guys what this looks like. Um, this is from a shop called Rescue, um, it's either Rescue Rings or Rescue Jewelry, and I'll put it down below. They have a lot of different styles of these if you have a cartilage piercing. And even if you don't have a cartilage piercing and you really like this style, you can always get a cuff, cuff that will just loop around the outside of your ear. But you get a chain that goes in your cartilage piercing and you can switch out the chain with any different studs. They came with these really cute little mint roses that I'll show you guys in a second. And you just poke this through a little link, through a larger link in the chain, and then it just looks like this. So I hope you guys can tell, but I just thought this was so cool, and I've gotten a ton of compliments on it already, um, and it's just really unique. It's kind of out there, but I really like it. And it came with these studs, which you can wear by themselves, or you can put different studs on here which is really cool. So that is all the stuff that I've recently hauled. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe it gives you some um, shopping ideas for yourself. If you guys want to see fall like outfits of the week, that sort of thing, um, tell me below in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Bye!